Catholic News Roundup is brought to you in part by PewSitter.com, your online Catholic newspaper for the third millennium. CatholicMediaCoalition.org, in line with the church, online with the world. And TheAmericanCatholic.com, politics and culture from a Catholic perspective. Hello and welcome to today's edition of Catholic News Roundup. I'm Matthew McAuliffe. Planned Parenthood pummeled. After a long budget battle has reached its conclusion, Planned Parenthood is now completely defunded in the state of Tennessee. LifeSite News reports Shelby is the last county to shift its health budget dollars to a local organization for family planning, announcing that it will award its $400,000 contract to Christ Community Health Services. This is the first time in 35 years that Planned Parenthood has not received the contract in the county, and the move comes after Davidson County defunded the abortion organization earlier this year. Davidson and Shelby counties are actually the last ones to step in line with a law passed two years ago that hands over all family planning responsibilities to respective county governments, making all 95 counties in Tennessee Planned Parenthood free. Planned Parenthood preoccupied. Planned Parenthood is joining the ranks of the Occupy movement in Florida, decrying corporate greed and what they call a violation of women's rights in the same breath. The Florida Independent newspaper reports the two joined forces at an Orlando rally organized by the group Awake the State earlier this week, where Planned Parenthood supporters expressed their disgust for Governor Rick Scott, who passed 18 pro-life bills since coming into office. An email promoting the rally says, quote, Instead of strengthening the economy or creating jobs, they are playing politics with women's health by introducing legislation that allows government bureaucrats to interfere with decisions that should be made by a woman in conjunction with her doctor, her family, and her faith, end quote. It cannot be ignored that Planned Parenthood is siding with a group that claims to fight corporate greed, while its president, Cecile Richards, recently confirmed in an Oregon newspaper that she makes $400,000 a year. Nursing nightmare. 12 pro-life nurses in the state of New Jersey are being forced to take part in the death of the unborn as hospital management se seeks to trample their conscience clause rights. The Catholic News Agency says that the University of Medicine and Dentistry recently put into effect a policy requiring nurses to assist in abortions or be fired assigning one of the nurses who performs abortions as a supervisor. The hospital canceled a previously scheduled meeting over the issue with the 12 nurses at the last minute when their supervisors found out that they had brought an attorney with them from the Alliance Defense Fund. And now the nurses are filing suit to defend their rights. Their attorney, Matthew Bowman, says the hospital is blatantly violating the law in an arrogant way, as two of the nurses have been scheduled to perform abortive surgery by their employer as early as tomorrow. Stay with us. We'll be back in just a few seconds. Catholic News Roundup is brought to you in part by NewOxfordReview.org, the voice of Catholic Orthodoxy, in print and on the web. And RenewAmerica.com, expanding the influence of America's grassroots in the cause of freedom. In Obama we trust. Obama has found more to mock than just the latest bills passing through the House. Now he's taking shots at God as well. While bashing John Boehner's latest legislation affirming in God we trust as our country's motto, he followed up his comment by saying that God would rather see his latest job bill passed. He says, quote, that's not putting people back to work. I trust in God, but God wants to see us help ourselves by putting people back to work, end quote. Obama is currently trying to get at least a portion of his $447 billion jobs bill passed. Catholic Socialism. The stage is being set for a unique debate claiming that Catholic economic thinking leans towards socialism, while Protestant economic practices more strongly support capitalism. A newly released study done by the European Central Bank in Switzerland contends that Catholics are more for government intervention and sharing wealth equally. According to Reuters, the research paper clarifies, quote, relative to Roman Catholicism, reformed Protestantism has curbed preferences for redistribution and for government intervention in the economy, end quote, going on to add that the impact of religion on income was not as significant. 
It also suggests that Protestants are more inclined to the accumulation of wealth than Catholics, seeing hard work specifically as a way to salvation. I'm Matthew McAuliffe. Thanks for tuning in today. Be sure and tune in tomorrow for your daily dose of Catholic News Roundup right here on realcatholictv.com. And be sure to check out The Vortex today where Michael exposes more about the Catholic Campaign for Human Development after the release of the latest CIA episode. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to tell all your friends about us. And as always, God bless you.